Hi, I'm Joe from Avalon Accounting. Today, I'd like to talk to you about one of the biggest questions we get from small business owners, and that's, what's the best way to pay myself for my corporation? To start, and this is one of the biggest pieces of information you're gonna get from this video, is that there's only two ways to pay yourself from your corporation, and that's salary or dividends. No matter what you hear about innovative, fancy workarounds on the internet, there are only two ways to pay yourself from your corporation. Okay, first up, should you pay yourself a salary? If you've ever had a job, a salary is gonna be pretty familiar to you. What we wanna to cover today is what it means for you as a business owner and how it might be beneficial for you. All right, so the number one benefit of paying yourself a salary is that you get steady, predictable income throughout the year. There are other benefits as well. So number one other benefit would be that when it comes to tax time, you don't have a huge tax bill to pay. You have paid your taxes throughout the year and might even get into a refund situation. Another big benefit of paying yourself a salary is that you create RRSP room, and this helps you shelter some of that income from taxes and save for your retirement. Speaking of retirement, CPP is another big component of paying yourself a salary. So when you pay yourself a salary, you're also contributing to CPP and you get that CPP benefit for when you retire. Lastly, a big benefit to paying yourself a salary and that steady predictable income that I mentioned before is that banks really like this type of income if you're going to get a mortgage or a loan. So paying yourself a salary, at least some, shows that steady predictable income and allows you to borrow better. As a business owner, here's what's really critical to know about paying yourself a salary. You will need to register yourself for a payroll account with CRA. This allows you to deduct income tax and CPP at source and remit those to the government each month. Now this is a big one, so listen up. CRA is relentless when it comes to wanting their income taxes at source, their remittances to be remitted every single month and the penalties are stiff. So make sure you have a system in place or somebody to keep you accountable to pay those each month. Another consideration is that you need to file a T4 every year. Now if you have other employees, it's not gonna be a big deal because you're already filing and you just add your T4 onto theirs. Now here's a couple of cost considerations for you. Number one is CPP. If you're paying yourself a salary, you're gonna to have to pay into CPP, and that's your portion plus the company's portion. So that's up to $5,000 a year that you need to pay into CPP. And depending on your philosophy, whether that's a savings or a tax, uh, this can be an extra cost to you now. And lastly, another consideration is that you get a deduction for the salary that you pay yourself within your corporation, which reduces your income and reduces your corporate tax. Now this gets put onto your personal tax and you pay your income tax there. All right, so there you go. That's what you need to know about paying yourself a salary and we're gonna move on to dividends next. All right, so paying yourself a dividend is a simple way of getting money out of your corporation and to you personally. There's lower costs involved in paying yourself a dividend, and one of the big ones is that CPP I talked about earlier. You'll save that $5,000 a year by not paying into CPP. But you'll also not create RRSP room, so you don't have the tax shelter of RRSP and saving for your retirement if you're paying yourself dividends, which you would get with salary. Next, it's much simpler to pay yourself a dividend. You pay, if you're a 100% owner of your company, you can pay yourself directly from your corporation to you personally and have a T5 filing at year end. That's one filing and you don't have to worry about the administrative part of deducting income taxes at source, remitting every month and having a payroll account. Now that all sounds great, but one of the big downsides is you're also not paying income tax every month. So when it comes tax time, you might have a very large tax bill that you may or may not have saved for. So knowing yourself is really important when you're paying yourself dividends. Are you the type of person that will put money aside every month and every time that you pay yourself a dividend so that you're ready for tax time? Or do you need more forced savings on that tax by paying yourself a salary and having income tax deducted at source? A couple last considerations if you're going to pay yourself a dividend. So number one is that it's not a deduction from your corporate income, so you pay tax at the corporate level even though you've paid yourself a dividend. 
And lastly, you'll want to consider your own borrowing needs. So if you're up for a mortgage or you're looking to buy a house over the next period of time, dividends are likely not going to be the optimal type of income for you. Banks are still going to want to see that consistent income and salary is the way to go if that's the case. So I've covered some basic examples so far, but you're probably having some questions swirling around in your head about how your specific situation is a little bit different. Stay tuned because I'm going to cover Avalon's situation and how we pay ourselves a combination of salary and dividends and our share structure to make that happen. So the ultimate question that we get is which one is going to make me pay less tax? And this is a challenging question to answer because there's really minimal savings in tax on either side, salary or dividends. I mentioned before about the CPP savings. So that's a $5,000-ish savings that you'll get if you're not paying yourself salary and you stick to dividends strictly. Okay, so there's minimal tax savings between paying yourself a salary and paying yourself dividends. And this is by design. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit nerdy on you, but the Canadian tax system is a beautiful thing. It's based on a concept called integration. And what you need to know about that is that this has already been contemplated in the Canadian tax system. What they're looking for is that someone getting paid a salary, an employee of a company, and an owner of a company should pay the same amount of tax. On the company side, the dividend payment, it's taxed a little bit at the corporate level, and then the rest is taxed at the personal level. And overall, you pay about the same amount of tax. Now there's small differences by province by province and year by year based on tax rates. And there are minimal savings to be had on one side or the other, but typically aren't enough for us to really go down that path. The other considerations that I mentioned before are much more impactful to whether you pay yourself a salary or dividends. Here's how we pay ourselves at Avalon. So if you're unfamiliar with Avalon, we have two business owners, Paul and myself, and we have run a corporation called Avalon Accounting Inc. We are the 50-50 owners of that, and our share structure is Class A's, which are voting non-participating shares, meaning we can't pay ourselves any dividends to those shares. We have Class B's and Class C's, and those Class B's and C's are 100% owned by Paul B's, 100% owned by Joe C's, and those are participating non-voting shares, which means they can receive dividends. So the advantage of a share structure like this is that, yes, we have our A's, which are voting and our control, but we can also differentiate our dividends by owner. So how we pay ourselves is that we pay ourselves a salary for the work that we do within the company. That's us acting like employees, uh, attending meetings, uh, having client meetings, uh, doing the work. So we pay ourselves as employees through salary. That gives us steady income. We pay our income taxes on that every single month and never see it in our paycheck. And uh, we're ready to go at tax time when it comes to our salary portion. We also pay ourselves dividends when we have profit to share amongst our owners that we don't want to reinvest within the company. So paying ourselves a dividend really is based on the ownership and the profit that we've created within the company. This is great because we can transfer that almost as a bonus for our ownership of the company once every few months. And uh, we put some money aside to make sure that we have our tax bill uh, set away when it comes to tax time. So this setup of paying ourselves a little bit of salary and a little bit of dividends works really well for us. Some other considerations for you might be your stage of business. So if you're new and you don't have the resources to have a payroll system set up and you don't want the administrative costs with that, maybe for your first year you just pay yourself dividends. So that might work in that scenario. In another scenario, you may be saving for your, your home and you want to be able to qualify for a mortgage. Maybe you go more towards salary and pay yourself all salary for a number of years to establish that income. Lastly, maybe you have a really growing business and you're seeing lots of profit, but you wanna reinvest that money back into hiring more people and uh, buying more equipment. You won't want to be paying yourself a, a dividend in that scenario. What you want to be doing is accumulating that cash to reinvest back into your business. We work with all kinds of entrepreneurs in different situations. And the salary versus dividend question is really based on their unique circumstances. So that can be 
lifestyle goals, business goals, profit, share structure, you name it. We take into account everything when we speak with these entrepreneurs about paying themselves salary versus dividends. So there you go. There's the pluses and minuses of paying yourself a salary versus dividends. I hope I've addressed your specific circumstance, but if I haven't, please post in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all the questions that I can get to. Until next time, get out there and build that thriving business. We're really excited to see what you can create.